Rocky got his admission test result and he was super happy because he scored 90% but after a couple of days he was sad why because he couldn't get the admission because the reason was what he scored was 90% that was his marks what needed was 90th percentile that means he needed to rank 90th now he is confused what is the difference then he meets to mr lonaria wherein mr lonaria explains explains that percentile is the rank while percentage is your score out of the total marks which you got but he does not understand then mr lonaria takes him to the classroom wherein teacher takes all the scores arrange that in ascending order take count of all the score which is 7 now check the score which rocky got which is 90 and that is at third position then his position divided by total number of scores multiplied by 100 and you got is 42.85 percentile this is called the percentile rank all right but what needed was 90th percentile that's why rocky couldn't get the admission rocky says do i understood i understood what i got was just 42nd percentile but what score is the 90th percentile he means that how much percentage does he require to be ranked at 90th percentile then again mr lonaria takes him to the classroom and over there teacher takes again all the scores arrange that in ascending order take count of scores which is 7 now the percentile which we need to check is 90th percentile then multiply that with 7 and divide it by 100 what we get is 6.3 now we need to check the sequence of each of the scores because those are in ascending order now the 63. 6.3 sorry 6.3 is nearest to 6 and the score which we have at 6th position is 98 so that's how rocky required 98% marks to be positioned at 90th percentile now we are going to see how can we calculate this percentile thing in python So here is the list of all those scores. Here it is already arranged in ascending order, but in your case, if it is not arranged, you can just arrange that. Now the score which Rocky has got is ninety, and here I have already taken this because we will be seeing both of the examples. First, we will see how to calculate percentile rank. For that, we will define a function. Define p rank. let's say p rank and here we will say so here we will take two parameters first one is your score and then the total number of scores okay and then we gonna say oops please bear with me then we gonna say for score for each of the score in scores before that we just need to create a counter count equals to 0 okay we gonna say if score less than equals to your score then count plus equals to 1 that means keep on adding 1 till the time it meets to your score okay now then we need to get rank how can we get the rank count which will give you the position which you have got divided by total number of scores so len scores okay and then multiplied by 100 oh now let's check out if this gives the correct answer okay p rank and in that what you got is your score okay and then total number of scores here i am simply passing these variables okay nothing much so here you just put that and in your score the value which rocky got 
was 90 right so now here you just hit enter okay looks something wrong okay so over here over here what we missed is just we need to say return rank okay and then over here you just calculate it bang on here you just get the rank which is 40 2.85 so here what we are doing is we are just creating a blank variable with zero value and now here we are checking the position of each of the score in scores which are less than the score which rocky has got and then we are creating a counter for that and whatever count comes over here we are dividing with total number of scores and multiplying it with 100 so this was the first problem statement second problem statement was to check what number or what score does he require to come on 90th percentile so for that we will define another function which we say def and we can say let's say value p let's say value p okay now here the rank which is needed which you want to check and here total number of scores you can say whatever you want right now all that we need to do is find the rank so first we will be creating index you remember we got 6.3 that's the index right so over here index equals to uh, the total percentile which is required the rank which is required is this rank into length of total scores length of total scores divided by 100 why i'm doing uh, why i'm using double slash because this will give you the um, whole whole number it will not give you 6.3 it will give you 6 directly okay now this this will create an index but when you are slicing a python list you require a whole number right so that's why i did over here so this is the list and in that we need to check the position of this particular index so what we're gonna say is return scores out of score what we need is index but we know python work python starts from zero so for that we need to reduce minus reduce one position okay now this is defined and what we need to do is just check out the test this out okay so we want to check it for 90 what what number does he require to come at 90th percentile okay and then the total number of scores over here okay and then just hit enter here you get the number which is 98 so this is how you can calculate percentile score and you can do its inverse okay now this was the a basic example now coming back to our corporate example if you are following the video you must have seen that uh, mr learn area has been given a task to analyze the diwali expenses right let's let me get back now here the boss asks mr learn area can you show me some distribution of transactions done in mumbai and compare that with other cities that means he wants to see what percentage of transactions are below which amount something like that right so mr learn area says of course we i can show you that so let's go back to the python and see over here all we need to do is just create a box plot so we can say sns dot okay before that let me just give you a view of our data which we have is this now we just need to create box plot in that we need to supply the data which is cpd and here we go so here by default it has taken uh, the transaction amount what happens if you don't give the variable name it will automatically fetch the numeric uh, uh, numeric variable so here we had only one numeric variable but it is always advisable to give the variable name right tran amount and you get the same data now here you are saying the transaction amount for all of these cities together so if you see the tw minimum transaction amount is somewhere 1025 percent and 25th percentile this shows the 25th percentile which is q1 q2 
quartile one this is median quartile three this is called quartile three this is quartile two median is quartile two itself right and difference between quartile one and quartile three is called the interquartile range right if you want to understand box plot in detail i have created a separate video link is given in the uh, description you can just check that out okay so this was the overall uh, transaction amount now if you want to compare it basis on each of the city what you can do is you can use x axis you can plot city on x axis now here you're gonna have a separate box for each of the city over here now you can compare the transaction amount accordingly so this is the uh, this presentation is created all that you need to do is present it to you now here must mr learn area is back and he is showing that boss the total transactions at 25th percentile are somewhere 3900 rupee less than or equals to 3900 rupee 50 percent of the transactions are somewhere 5000 rupee that means 50 percent of number of transactions are having their amount less than or equals to 5000 rupee same goes for this 75 percent of the transaction now again your boss is happy and bang on